Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you for 100k subscribers. Yay, we made it with your support. You definitely make a difference. You make a difference, not the letter U. So let's go ahead and take a look at today's problem. Since today is special, I have a special problem for you, a 100k special. So first of all, let me tell you, this problem kind of looks monstrous, but don't worry, we can do it. Uh, this problem was inspired by a problem from British Columbia Secondary School Math Contest. The original problem is obviously much, much simpler. It involves uh, x squared plus y squared, and on the right-hand side, we have x cubed. But anyways, same type of strategy, and for 100k, a special day problem should definitely include 100k, 100 uh, as a power. I thought about giving you a problem like a polynomial with uh, x to the power 100, but I think this problem is nicer than that. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the solutions. We're going to be looking for integer solutions. And so in that sense, it's, uh, this is considered a Diophantine equation. So it only makes sense if we isolate y, right? Let's go ahead and do it. So we have y to the power 99, and we can kind of write it as x to the power 100 minus x to the power 99. Great. So that's the first step. I want to isolate the y so that the variables are separated. And then I want to do factoring on the right-hand side. Don't let 100th power and 99th power scare you because factoring this polynomial or binomial is going to be fairly easy. We're going to go with the greatest common factor, which is x to the power 99. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and take out x to the power 99. And remember, x to the power 100 contains x to the power 99. It's actually x to the 99th times x. So inside the parentheses, we have x minus 1. When you go ahead and distribute, use the distributive property, you'll get the original expression. So that's how we can check your work with factoring, because factoring can be sometimes tricky. All right, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do with this. So, okay, fine, you factored it, so what, right? Well, uh, notice that I have the 99th power on both sides, if you don't pay attention to what's inside the parentheses. So, that kind of gives you an idea. The stuff inside the parentheses must also be a 99th power. Why? Because x to the power 99th is a 99th power, and the left-hand side is a 99th power. By the way, 1 is a 99th power, so it's going to be a power of you know, any number will be um, with, with one will work. Anyway, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a different variable for an integer, and let's use t, okay? And I can just go ahead, and how about k, just to represent 100k? So let's go ahead and replace x minus 1 with k to the power 99, where k is an integer. I'm going to represent the set of integers with a special z. So that means k is an integer. Now, notice that we are multiplying two 99th powers. The product is also going to be a 99th power. Don't worry, when we get to solving y, you're going to see that it's actually uh, working. So let's start with x first. What did we say x minus 1 was? We said x minus 1 was k to the power 99, where k is an integer. So we can just add 1 to both sides. That's simple. And write the x as k to the power 99 plus 1. Wow, that was easy, right? Hopefully. So that's x. And k is an integer. What about y? How do you find y? So y is going to come from this equation. Let's go ahead and copy that here. We have y to the power 99 equals x to the power 99 times t. Well, actually, not t. I changed it to k. I was thinking about t originally, but anyways, k seems like a better choice. So k to the power 99. Now, we can actually go ahead and write the right-hand side as the 99th power of a product because of the rules for exponents. So I can just write it as xk to the power 99. And now I have the following. y to the power 99 equals xk, but I'm going to write it as kx to the power 99. And now we can take the 99th root of both sides, which is Fine, right? And it doesn't matter because 99 is odd, so even if we have a negative number inside, it's going to be okay. So when you take 99th root, you're going to get y equals kx. 
This is good because we already have an expression for x and now we can go ahead and use this to find an expression for y. All you have to do is take the x multiply by k. So it's going to look like this k times k to the power 99 plus 1. And finally I can write the y as k to the power 100 plus k. That's going to be my y value. So I got the x value, I got the y value. So we can go ahead and write our solutions in the following form. We can kind of write it as ordered pairs. And this is going to be x value k to the power 99 plus 1. And the y value is going to follow k to the power 100 plus k, as you can see here. And of course, this set is defined where, where k is always an integer. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple particular values, and then we're going to finish up. All right, so for example, if t is equal to negative 1, we're going to get 0, comma, 0. If t is equal to 0, then we're going to get 1, comma, 0. That's kind of interesting. If you replace y with 0 in the original equation, you're going to notice that those are the two solutions you're getting. But we're finding all the solutions. And if t is equal to 1, then we're going to get 2, comma, 2, which is kind of interesting, but you can always verify. If t is equal to 2, then things start going crazy. We get 2 to the power 99 plus 1, comma, 2 to the power 100 plus 2 as verified by this. And did I say t? I'm supposed to say k. I don't know why I keep saying t. They're all supposed to be k. Okay, I'm kind of stuck on t. t, I need some t. Okay, anyways. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And again, thank you for 100k subscribers. Keep up the good work. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.